Hi, I'm Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds Associates. It's Tuesday, March 29th, 2011. Several things in the news have come up in the last several days that I wanted to uh, share my impressions uh, with you. Um, they are the fact that uh, plutonium has been discovered on the Fukushima site, the second that large quantities of very radioactive water have also been discovered on site. And the last is I wanted to give you my assessment of the condition of the nuclear cores in um, units one, two, and three. First, the plutonium. Plutonium has been found on five different locations on site. And if you remember an earlier video I put together, uh, plutonium is a difficult isotope to detect because um, it doesn't give off a gamma ray, it gives off an alpha particle. And that's not picked up by the traditional Geiger counters. That plus the high background on site makes it very difficult. So this had to be from soil samples. So five soil samples have turned up plutonium. If there's five, there's more. And um, uh, that's a great concern for me. Uh, plutonium got its name from Pluto, the god of hell. And it's um, one of the more nasty isotopes um, uh, that mankind has ever created. Um, this is a gram. The dollar bill is roughly a gram. Well, if you cut that into a million pieces, you have a microgram, smaller than George Washington's eye. One microgram can cause a lethal cancer from plutonium. Now, the, I believe the plutonium is coming from the uh, fuel pool in unit, uh, in unit four, although um, you can't rule out the other three reactors. Um, plutonium is um, uh, evident in all the nuclear reactors. Um, unit 3 had some plutonium fuel, but all the reactors will have plutonium because the uranium-238 absorbs a neutron and becomes plutonium anyway. So it's in all four locations. The reason I think it's in the pool, though, is that it's scattered on the land on the site. And the uh, most likely way to volatilize the uh, plutonium would have been in a, uh, in a, a fire or a violent um, Zerk water reaction in, in the Unit 4 fuel pool. Um, there's still a lot more data that needs to be developed, but again, if you found five samples, it's likely there'll be more on site. And a bigger concern to, my, to me is that if it's already in five locations on site, I think they'll find more off site. Uh, and its health consequences should not be downplayed by uh, Tokyo Electric. The, uh, the second thing is the fact that the uh, enormous quantities of highly radioactive water have been found in trenches. These trenches are outside the nuclear containment. That means the containment isn't containing. Um, I posted a, a, a link that's on, on our site as well that talks about how radioactive material can get out of the nuclear reactor and get through the containment and out into these trenches without a breach of the containment and without a breach of the nuclear reactor. Um, it, it involves a leakage of a seal at the bottom of these nuclear reactors and, um, and it's quite plausible. And I urge you to take a look at it in detail. Well, what does this mean? The amount of water in those trenches is enormous. And it's very difficult to get uh, demineralizers to remove that radioactivity uh, in such high quantities. Basically, if the, if the demineralizer uh, absorb that radioactivity, it would become so radioactively hot that um, personnel couldn't go near it. I've also had people say, well, why don't you take that water and pump it back in the nuclear reactor? Well, the radioactivity in that water is over 100 rem per hour. And basically that means that anybody who stands near it for three or four hours receives a lethal dose of radiation. So if you were to pump it back into the reactor, the pumps would become so radioactive that personnel couldn't operate the pumps. There's not much tankage space available on the site. They're trying to pump that water into the unit condensers. The condensers are not seismic and may not have withstood the, uh, the earthquake and tsunami. So I think that water is leaking into the ocean. The quantity of radioactivity that's been detected in the ocean is an indication of an enormously large source of water of radioactive water hitting the ocean. I don't think it came from air releases. I think somewhere there is a leak into the ocean from this material. Um, 
it's a troubling, really troubling scenario because the containment isn't containing. The uh, last thing I wanted to talk to you about is the fact that the uh, core damage appears to be minimized by the uh, uh, by Tokyo Electric. Um, I was uh, I had staff working for me when I was the vice president uh, on Three Mile Island during the recovery, and I got to view the videos of the core damage at Three Mile Island. Now we're putting one slide up here. Uh, it's very poor grain, but uh, uh, this is 1980s technology through a mini submarine. But you can see. Those thimbles are the nuclear fuel rods that have been totally destroyed. Now, at Three Mile Island, the reactor only was uh, without, without water for about 10 hours, maybe 12. Um, so for half a day, it didn't have water cooling it. And also, it only ran for three months before, before the accident, which means there's very little decay heat. At Fukushima, on the other hand, that reactor ran for four years, so the fuel had an enormous amount of decay heat in, in it. And the other piece is that um, it was uncooled for many days. So more decay heat plus very little cooling tells me that the damage inside that core is enormous. TMI lost one third of its core. It wouldn't surprise me if there's 70 or 80 percent of the core that's been damaged. Now what that means is it falls to the bottom of the reactor as slag, radioactive slag, molten slag at the bottom of the reactor. At very least, it's damaging those seals that I talk about. At worst, it's gradually eating its way through the nuclear reactor and, uh, and a meltdown is possible. Combine this with the salt water they've been added. You have hot water, incredible um, source of heat and salt. Um, corrosion of the vessels likely. The, the net effect here is that I believe that the uh, um, quantities of radiation that are going to continue to leak from that reactor into the containment and now apparently out of the containment are large and frankly I don't see how they're going to be stopped in the short term. Well, sorry it's kind of a gloomy picture today. Um, I will get back to you when I have more to tell you. Thank you.